1,000 subscribers. What a milestone. I cannot thank you enough for everything that each and every one of you have done. A year ago today, I had less than 100 subscribers and made some questionable quality videos. I've come such a long way from where I was and I'm glad to have you along for the journey. I knew that I was an enthusiast, but I never really went to any parks other than Kings Island and Cedar Point. However, in the past year, I visited Kentucky Kingdom, Carowinds, Kings Dominion, and Busch Gardens Williamsburg gaining about 40 credits. I've also had the opportunity to visit Cedar Point's Winter Chill Out. I've had an incredible time at each park and I hope this is just the beginning of my journey. Along the way, I've met some incredible people as well. I was able to meet up with Zero G Coasters at Busch Gardens Williamsburg and we had an amazing time. I've also done my first ever collaboration with Elena from Coasterverse and Zero G Coasters. I've grown with some of my frequent commenters and have had the amazing chance to help some smaller coaster YouTubers out who were in a similar starting situation just like myself. But all of it would not have been possible without the support of all 1,000 of you. When I started this channel last January, I had no idea of what it would lead to today. I just knew that I loved coasters and YouTube was a way to share my thoughts with other enthusiasts in the community. The channel started pretty slow and I wasn't expecting much, but as time went on, I was quickly gaining momentum and before I knew it, it was 100, 200, 500, 900, and then 1000 subscribers. I really enjoy making content for you and I just want to thank you again. Since I haven't really planned this video out much, it was seeming pretty boring, so I asked you guys some questions to submit that I could answer because after all, this is your channel as much as it is mine. First up is Fields Go asking about my favorite park that I visited. If I had to pick one, it would be Kings Island just because it's my home park and I've grown up there and I know so much about it. However, other parks that I visit are excellent in their own different ways. Cedar Point has amazing rides, Busch Gardens Williamsburg is really nice looking, there's just things each park is good at, it's so hard to compare them. Cedar Point Kid asks about my favorite video game. I don't really play many video games, the only one I regularly do is Ultimate Coaster 2 and that's if you consider that a video game, so yeah, I don't really play much. Girl Power Coasters ask what my thoughts are on Fast and Furious Hollywood Drift. I personally don't know much about it, but whatever it is, I can imagine it will be amazing. Jaw1789 asks what ride from Geauga Lake looked the best. I would probably have to go with Dominator, which is cool because I just got the chance to ride it about two months ago, and it was really good. Random Roller Coaster Enthusiast ask what my most overrated and underrated coaster that I've ridden are. For underrated, I would have to go with Orion or Loch Ness Monster, and both give great airtime. Loch Ness Monster is a must do towards the back. Overrated would have to be Fury 325, and I've already explained that in many different videos. Coaster Confusion has a few questions, so first is my most anticipated park. I would have to say it's a tie between Islands of Adventure, Dollywood, and Hershey Park, and I would love to go international to somewhere like Fantasia Land, Energylandia, or Popsilanda Pan for Ride of Happiness. So there's a few of them. The second question is if I have ever met another enthusiast at a park. I actually spent my day at Busch Gardens Wimsburg with Zero G Coasters, but I have plans in the making to meet other enthusiasts, so you guys will see that content soon. The third question is my favorite coaster YouTuber. I really enjoyed Coaster Journey's content before the upload stopped, but other than that, I like different YouTubers for a different reason. And finally, the best coaster that I haven't ridden yet would definitely be all the RMCs besides the three that I've ridden. I think Ride to Happiness, Time Traveler, and Velocicoaster would definitely be high on my rankings too. And then Coasterverse asks what my favorite part of making videos is, and that would be expressing my love for coasters and hearing you guys share the same enthusiasm with me. Thanks to all for submitting some questions, I really appreciate it. I'm so excited about hitting 1000 subscribers and I'm looking forward for what is to come. Thanks again to everyone who helped me out at reaching this incredible milestone. I hope you enjoyed this little flashback and thank you video, so thanks for watching.